गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर वेल एंड स्टडी वेल एट योर होम टुडे आई एम हियर विथ न्यू पोएम दैट इज ट्रीज आर द काइंडेस्ट थिंग्स पोएट नेम इज हैरी बैन लेट्स गो थ्रू द लाइन ट्रीज आर द काइंडेस्ट थिंग्स आई नो दे डू नो हार्म दे सिंपली ग्रो एंड स्प्रेड अ शेड फॉर स्लीपी काउस एंड गैदर बर्ड्स अमंग देर बोल्स they give us fruits in leaves above and wood to make our houses of and leaves to burn on halloween and in spring new birds of green they are first when the days begin to touch the beams of morning sun they are the last to hold the light when evening changes into night and when a moon floats on the sky they hum a drowsy lullaby of sleepy children long ago trees are the kindest things i know so in this poem this is a simple poem of four stanzas about trees written by harry ben the poem conveys the importance of trees to the world with the use of simple images let's go through the stanza first stanza trees are the kindest things i know they do no harm they simply grow and spread a shade for sleepy cows and gather birds among their boughs in this stanza trees are kind because they are not doing any harm neither to nature not to any living creature it is kind gentle caring and helpful to others this poem talks the kindness of the tree towards the animals as they praise as they provide shade to the sleepy cows and place for the birds to build their nest on the branches of the trees next stanza they give us fruits in leaves above and wood to make our houses of and leaves to burn on halloween and in spring new birds of green in this stanza the poet talks about the trees that they are very kindness to human beings they provide us food wood for building houses and leaves full of beauty It also brings us joy in spring time when it gets fresh leaves and flowers. The trees are very generous and just giving everything to us but demands very little or nothing from us. Next stanza, they are first when the days begin to touch the beams of morning sun. They are the last to hold the light when evening changes into night. So in this stanza this poem talks about the loftiness of the trees the trees being tall are the first ones to catch the morning sun rays when the sun rises and they are the last to hold the light before night sets in it seems as if the trees in a generous gesture bring in and hold the life giving sunlight for the world's benefit next stanza and when a moon floats on the sky they hum a drowsy lullaby of sleepy children long ago trees are the kindest things i know in this stanza the poet says after the day's work when people are tired and sleepy the trees sings a lullaby when the moon is up this lullaby is the rustling of leaves in a gentle breeze when the wind blows and the leaves of the trees create a very soft sound that is a lullaby of trees it reminds us of a sleepy children of pure and simple life so this is the explanation of the poem i hope you might understood just read the poem just listen the explanation very carefully then you will get to understand if you have any doubt you can ask during online class thank you have a nice day